Hey, this is Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness, and these are my training progressions for the muscle up. The muscle up is an explosive upper body exercise, similar to a pull up, where you explosively pull your body up and then transition into a dip and then press your body up from the bar there. It's been estimated that you'd have to perform about 15 to 20 solid pull ups before you can progress into doing a muscle up. Traditionally, you'll see a lot of guys doing their pull ups really wide which is fine, but since we're trying to progress to the muscle up, we want to take a medium wide grip. Because when we get into the muscle up, we want to transition into the dip, having the arms a little closer to the body. So we're going to be only going about medium width for the pull ups. Okay, initially start <coughs> with your wrist neutral. We're going to start progressing later on to doing more of an overhand grip with your wrists flexed. Now with a kipping pull up, you're going to use a slight swinging motion where you let your body rock forward and then with a hip extension, you're going to pull yourself up and away from the bar in an arc motion, ending up with your chest high on the bar. I'm just getting used to kipping pull ups myself and I found it hard to perform them continuously. Now here's a demonstration of a cheat muscle up or a jumping muscle up. I'm using a very low bar here so that I can push off of the ground into the muscle up and then I'm practicing several dips at the top of the motion. This way I can practice my balance and stability at the top of the muscle up as I transition into the dip. Now I've progressed to a higher bar so this makes it much more challenging. I can still touch the ground uh, but I can use much less leg drive to assist in the muscle up and I'm going to continuously progress to higher and higher bars uh, so I can use less assistance with the legs. But this is a great initial progression towards getting used to the muscle up and getting used to the explosiveness of it. You can also perform this exercise at a gym just by placing a box or an adjustable step underneath you and jumping off of that and then just decreasing the height of the box as you become stronger so you have less and less assistance with the legs. Let's look at some rotator cuff exercises. You need to have a strong stable rotator cuff in order to perform the muscle up safely and correctly. Here I'm demonstrating an exercise for internal rotation. This is also necessary during the transition from the pull up to the dip. Keep your arms bent at about 90 degrees and lower the bar back overhead and then contracting deep into your shoulder muscles bring it back over your chest. You'll need to start with a relatively light weight with most of these exercises initially as you're isolating very small intrinsic stabilizer muscles. This is a great exercise for external rotation using a barbell bringing it back overhead again arms at 90 degrees. The parallel bar dip is an essential exercise to train in preparation for the muscle up. As long as you don't have any shoulder injuries, try to go as deep as you can and lean forward into the dip motion. This will have a greater carryover for you in the transition with the muscle up. As demonstrated in a previous tutorial, I'm using a jumping muscle up to get to the top position. Once there, slowly lower yourself under control until you're fully extended at the bottom position. Remember to use a slight swinging motion to pull yourself up and away from the bar when you perform the jumping muscle up and then at the top position start to lower yourself under control. I found that the transition right here to be the most challenging on my rotator cuff and it took a lot of time to be able to really slow that transition down until I could fully extend without dropping once I went from the dip to the pull up position. Here's how it looks from the back. Again, elbows stay high and you slowly lower them under your wrists as you make that reverse transition. Let's take a close up look at that here. Now, as you can see, as I'm lowering myself, I'm trying to keep my body off the bar on the way down initially. So as much as you can support your entire weight in your hands. Now again, as I approach the transition, my chest does touch the bar and I pull against it as I'm lowering myself down to the reverse pull up. This is an interesting isometric exercise where you put one hand over and the other hand under on a bar and then suspend yourself trying to hold that position maintaining tension throughout your upper body and especially in through your shoulders and rotator cuff. Make sure you train both sides equally. One elbow should stay up over your wrist and the other arm supporting from underneath.
After you've spent a few weeks working through the previous progressions demonstrated here, you should be able to perform a full single repetition on the muscle. Once you've got your first muscle up repetition, the challenge is to get a second consecutive rep. This is often tough for some people, they'll get their one rep and it'll take them several weeks or a couple weeks before they can get two or three in a row. So what I show you is one technique I've learned that's really helped me get that second rep. Now my form is still a little sloppy, but this helps with that transition from the top position, swinging up into the second repetition. Okay, this bar is a little low here, so I'm not able to get as much momentum with my leg swing. But the idea is to start from a position where you can touch the ground and cheat into your first rep or jump up into your first muscle up and then come down from the top position into the swing up into the second rep. Okay, you save your energy for that second transitional repetition like this. And you do several repetitions of that. Cheat on the first, back swing into the second until you can cut your rest time down in between and get several consecutive repetitions, which I'm going to try now. Nice. The drop. Pull. That's it. That's it. Push. Push. This time use your knees. That's it. Nice. That's it. That's it. Up. Nice. Once you can perform a few consecutive repetitions in the muscle up, it's all about improving your form and performing more repetitions. Good luck and stay strong. <laughs>